Hello and welcome to Bogolt DLC for Farming Simulator 19. I'm UK Gamer 808 and I'll be taking you on this first look mod review of the new DLC which came out on March the 10th. Now we have got quite a few bits of kit to go through and of course we have the John Deere 9RX. So we may as well look at that first. So this bad boy What's it going to cost us? £428,500 to purchase. And inside, it all looks beautiful. Lovely, clear vision all the way around. Mirrors, what are... Well, it'd be nice if they were adjusted. Right, you can't see the side of the vehicle, but... It is what it is. And then we've got our console, which all lights up. And I didn't see any of the sticks... Mo no, nothing moving on that. I might change when you've got uh, implements on so going inside and we have got a bit of action on the the brake pedal there just like that and we haven't got any doors open or any of that malarkey which we don't normally have that on any of the giants mods anyhow but there it is fantastic been waiting a while I did think they were gonna bring it out because everyone was a bit quiet on well I'm not making it no nobody's making it and you're like well why is nobody making it because bloody giants were making it anyway 21,853 pounds for your initial lease costs on it and it has got a 24 mile an hour top speed now the quality of this is awesome it really is but I do feel that this should, we should, everyone should have this. This should be a free edition. Shouldn't have been part of the Begolt DLC. But that's just me. I think everyone should have got this because it's like, a, well, the amount of people when it came out for PC and then it was like, oh, is it coming out for console? No chance. It's never going to come out for console. And then it's here, but you got to bloody buy it. So I think that's a bit of a con, but that's me. Anyway, we got this um, got this steel r rope there. Well, wire goes down to the back. I wasn't sure what the hell that was all about. But the quality of it, look at it, is it is absolutely awesome. I've done a little bit of plowing on it, and uh, yeah, nice job. Everything really crisp, really clear. And remember, this this is on console, so it's uh, looks pretty good. Anyhow, lots of engine configurations for it. We have the 9470, which is this one, and this is the standard. And then you've got the 9520, and then it goes up 9570 and 9620, which is the 670 horsepower, and that will cost you an extra 76,000 pounds. Now we have got the you see that's the normal setup there with the tracks on and this one is the wide one where at the R3 meter wide track and that costs you an extra five grand on it and I compared it to the quad track and it it was a little bit smaller I did think it was smaller I think it was just because I got this one out first with the wider wheelbase on there it seems a, a little bit smaller but it's it's just a not a lot couple of inches Anyhow, jump aside, and then we got our lighting going on on the front, and then we whiz round to the back, and plenty of lights on there, twin indicators. It does sound pretty, pretty nice. Do like it, and then beacons going on. Jobs are good and nice bit of kit. But I do feel it should be for everyone. Let me know in the comments, because you never know if there's enough people going on about it. They might say, all right, you can have that, because they should do. I'm going to put it to Giants and see what they say. Uh, not that they respond very often, but I, I will pop the question and see what they say. So, yeah, looking at this one, then, it, you can see it does look a, a lot thinner, which it is, because you haven't got the wider tracks. But awesome bit of kit absolutely love it brilliant I haven't been able to do this for the last few days been pretty ill and got a few other things going on so we're back on it today 
So what else do we get for the Bogolt DLC? So let's start off, we'll have a quick run rain and then we'll go and grab the equipment and give it a go. So we have the SPS 360 Disc Harrow or Cultivator and then this is the smallest seeder of the bunch, the CD872. And we've got these booms on here and they don't seem to work. Well, they probably might work for PC. Let me know if you're on PC and you got this boom here I couldn't get any of that working that would have been nice I think that is for actually loading it up and then we have the weeders the XR 770s and I got the two variants of that out because we've got the extra wide one which is that one look at the size of that bad boy and then we go over and we've got the smaller one and then we have our two air carts that's the larger one of the two and then the largest cedar we've got which goes with that one now that this is huge that one i haven't had to go with any of this yet and this is the smaller cedar i've got the twin wheels on it but it does come with the single wheels so if you do want to use it on a smaller map because bear in mind look at this look how wide everything is you know you're going to struggle you will see that as we drive it down the road shortly so i'm at pacific northwest and we've got a few decent sized fields so we're going to put them to the test but the quality of all this stuff, I've had a good look round of it, and it's, it is awesome, fair play. But it's giant, so they're not going to put it out, are they? There's going to be extensive testing. I don't expect any issues with any of it, but you never know. So let's jump in a deer. Right, so this is the, well, it says Harrow, Harrow Cultivator, whatever you want to call it. But it does call it the SPS 360 Harrow. Whereas Cultivator in my book, let's get this out into the field. So it's 100, oh, I'm so not used to using uh, articulated, but you just got to give it a little bit, you just oversteer all the time. Anyway, so let's get it unfolded. And then we can have a good look of what's going on. And you see it's a fair old size, 12 meters wide. Now it's minus 12 on the slot count. Now if you add all the DLC, it does come out with quite a few slots where, well, you'll see as we go through but a decent size, 12 meters, nine mile an hour work speed on it. 189,500 pounds to buy and then your initial leasing costs are 9,665 pounds. But you do need 480 horsepower to pull it. So we have five, what was this? 517, I think it is. Yeah, it is. So we've got a load of crops we would need to get rid of. And it looks like crop destruction is on. So let's, So the only controls we've got is just the fold option and then lower because it is a cultivator at the end of the day. So it says nine mile an hour working speed. So let's, uh, I'll tell you what, let's reverse that because I'm gonna miss that last first one. Right, try again, off we go, set the worker up, and um, we should hit 9 mile an hour, which we are, we're doing 9 mile an hour. Uh, not a huge amount of animation, oh there is a little bit more on that front end there, I suppose. But all the hoses of all this equipment, is, it looks really, really good, fair play. Uh, nice to have a new cultivator and it is a decent size 12 meters can't be bad right next bit so next off we look at the XR770 disc harrow or the Bogolt XR770 and I think we will use take this huge one because this 
totally changes weeding it really does because the size of the thing even the smaller one is uh yeah pretty cool now let's get this hooked up now this one when you're towing it it does move around a little bit where you've got quite a little bit of you can see there whoa let's slow it down you see it turns that way it turns all over the place so you shouldn't really get this stuck unless you oversteer like I do oh yeah right so finally on the road and you can see it does take up quite a bit of room and we have this field it's got some weeds ready to go so let's get it unfolded and then when it unfolds it just spins out just like that see all the cables pulling in now this will cost you £56,000 to buy and £2,856 for your initial leasing costs and I'm making the right pigs here of this let's just get it reversed right here we go yeah I probably should have turned crop destruction off because that's not helping where are we going and we let the worker go now this has got a seven mile an hour work speed which there it is but it's not getting rid of those weeds I just noticed already what's going on oh it is now that's strange it wasn't working at the start there so minus 10 on the slot count and if you want the extra wide one the other one's 21 meters uh 21.3 meters and if you want the 27 one it costs you an extra four and a half thousand pounds but you're going to use it aren't you even for <laughs> even for your initial leasing costs to go in you can just crack this out pretty quick nice bit of kit really is huge game changer bit of kit for weeding I don't normally do weeding wouldn't mind doing it now pretty cool right let's fold that back up now you do need a minimum of 350 horsepower to run this one and there it is so that is the Bugolt XR770 Harrow so next off we have the CD872 the Bugolt CD872 now this is a nice self-contained cedar this is the smallest one which is available for the Bugolt DLC and it will cost you £182,500 to buy and £9,307 for your initial leasing cost minus 22 on the slot count but you see all the detail of all these all these pipes and hoses going everywhere it's fantastic it really is even down to all these stickers on here it looks pretty cool doesn't it, it really does holds 72,000 uh, no sorry 7200 litres now it does seed and fertilize so we go and check to see how much it does hold for each I don't know if it's 7200 of each or that's split between fertilizer and seed but exceptional bit of kit really is let's get on the back here will it let us up and you see it's got this crane here but we can't get anything on that we'll hook it up and I'll show you the crack so let's hook that one up and see what options we've got available for it and we have the wheat barley oats canola soybeans oilseed radish and grass and then we have the open cover 
you see those covers pop up like that pretty cool and then you see the lockdown and then unfold so uh, just like that lower raise unfold right so I've got a couple of I've got seed and fertilizer and I probably should get a bit closer or maybe you have to open cover first there you go there goes the fertilizer so it's a thousand yeah so it's split then it's 7200 so it's probably half and half and there's a bit of seed job done right let's, let's go and put this through the test and you see this one is quite thin so you're not going to struggle you can use this on any farm you're not going to have any particular issues apart from my driving I just keep oversteering big time so you do need 240 horsepower to run this one and it is 8 meters wide the 11 mile an hour working speed I should have just got a normal tractor for this one you do need the 240 horsepower and there we go started off and we got a top work speed of 11 nice bit of kit all seems to be working pretty pretty nicely that does and there's plenty of an animation on that one all good right so that's the bug out cd872 on to the next right so next we have the bug out 332076 power link hoe drill now this is the smaller one of the two 23.2 meters and is minus 20 on the slot count it's 273,000 pounds 500 to buy and 13,948 on your initial leasing cost so minus 20 on the slot count so this and the air cart with it, that's 28. So it's 48, crazy, for all these two alone. Plus if you're using a 9RX, then yeah, the slot can goes up pretty quick. Now every extra one is only a couple more slots anyway, but I don't think you can have more of these. Don't think you need them unless you've got a huge farm. So you do need 500 horsepower to pull this one and it works at 11 miles an hour now I haven't tried this whatsoever so let's get these hooked up and see if we can get them loaded I've got a trailer with some seed and fertilizer and you see the, the articulation on this it doesn't help using the yeah I'll tell you what right so I finally got that hooked up that was a bit of a pain in the arse you can see we've got all the hoses linked up now and I've also done this one was easier this is the larger one and it was a lot easier to connect those to it so let's get them out in the field now as you can see the width of this is going to be an issue on certain maps anyway and look at me over steering all the time right let's try and get it out down the road and 
and yeah it's going to take up the whole road but it does pull well no issues Whoa. as he takes that out right here we go And there we have it. Right, let's get it unfolded. So quite large, look at that, awesome. So this is the 23 meter wide. And that looks pretty spectacular, doesn't it? Now we do need to actually load it up because we've got nothing in there so we've got fold sewer no that's that we don't want that open cover options there we go and as soon as we do the open cover it brings that round and then we can also go to the next cover because it is a split tank and then it comes back so we can let's just load them in with pallets but we're not going to do that because this air cart here, the 7950, well, it holds 33,475 litres. So we do need, well, if you're going to fill it all the way up, I suppose. So we have this truck, and I saw this was on one of the Farming Simulator videos, and it probably should have unfolded that as well. And then we get the cover out and we can actually drive alongside that might have been right never mind let's just fill it up get it done i did wonder if it's going to let you drive over but it does so can we Right, well, I couldn't get that to unload into there straight from the trailer. So we've got a sell point and we've got fertilizer. So let's fill that up. And this is a great fertilizer point because it's all free, unless you've updated it. But I haven't done the update, so it's free. So that all works on that. So we do stop filling and then we go to close cover. Open next cover is that one. And we should be able to put is this not a seed one as well? I thought it sold seed as well as. All right, there we go. We've got some seeds in there now. So it's the same as the others, grass, wheat, barley. Same old, same old stuff, basically. So let's go and fold that away. That goes on to the next one. I should have jumped out and had a look at this while it was all being done. It looks pretty cool. Now this air cart is £272,000 to buy and it's £13,872 for your initial leasing cost for it. And you have got quite a few tyre options for it. But this is the crane and you can see this crane on this side and we can't seem to get that to work. Well, I don't think it does work for console. It might work for PC. If it does, let me know. So let's get this all unfolded. Let's just put the worker on. What? And we're putting grass in. And there it goes. So minus 28 on the slot count for the air cart. And that all seems to be working, no issues. Doesn't like it I got in the way. Come on then, get on with it. Plenty of animation on this one. 
Right, so let's go in and check out the last. So the last one to have a look at is the Bugalt 3420 100 Paralink Hold Rail. Now this is the huge one and huge it is, 30.5 meters. Absolutely awesome. Minus 20 on the slot count. No, sorry, minus 26 on that one for the slot count. And then we have the larger air cart, which pretty cool. This this is the 71300, and this one does come standard with the larger wheels and larger capacity because it does hold 45,810 liters, and that's split between the fertilizer and the seed. Seed. You can see there we got this crane. It's a shame that don't work. Anyhow, this will cost you £331,000 and £16,906 for your initial leasing cost. And minus 24 on the slot count. Minus 24. Crazy. But not as much as this. This is 430500 and it's nearly 22 grand on your initial leasing cost for it. And you do need 600 horsepower, which you'd expect, wouldn't you? It's huge, it really is. 11 mile an hour work speed. There's all the other same crops, wheat, barley, canola, oats, and blah, 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 same as. Just a very wider, bigger version. So we're gonna have trouble getting this one around we should be all right down here hopefully no I forgot about traffic as well right hopefully Right, so let's try this one, get that unfolded, start filling and get some seeds in there and then we go over to the next tank and we can put some fertiliser hopefully. Right, so let's get this unfolded, it won't let me put fertiliser in at that station, I don't know why and I can't be bothered it does irritate me when you try and do stuff and it just doesn't work how you, how you want it but never mind now look at this unfold action on here absolutely huge drop it down awesome Really good animation on it. That's got to be one of the best unfold features I've seen. Pretty cool. Anyway, so what is that bar there then? We got this bar hanging out here. Oh, that goes round and locks it onto the other side when it. Yeah, I got you. Now that is a hell of a bit of kit. Biggest cedar we got. And let's just fire it up and go for it. And working speed of eight mile an hour. We did say 11. But that is huge, and there's a hell of a lot going on. All these pipes everywhere. 
plenty of animation. Proper job. That is a hell of a bit of kit. Right, well, let's get back. That all works a treat. Fantastic. That unfold. Love that. Right, oh, well, that's it for the Begolt DLC for Farming Simulator 19. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And let me know in the comments on what you think, whether it's worth the money or not or whether you've got a season's pass so it doesn't really matter but uh, I think the Don John Deere should be for everyone I think but I'll put it giant see what they say probably won't get a response but you never know right now that's your lot for the Begolt DLC for Farming Simulator 19 I hope you've enjoyed this episode and if you did always appreciate if you smash that like button for me and if you are new to the channel why not go and check out one of my getting up for over 700 videos now and you'd be surprised what's there thanks for watching and i will see you next time